Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Showing My Collection video. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to show you some larger items that I have to use a bigger table to showcase. What I'm going to share with you today are my oversized autographed posters and photos. These are posters and photos that basically are large in size, so they're kind of hard to put on my little little uh, kitchen nook table over there. So I'm using my full spread dining room table. The first one I want to talk about has already been presented in other another video, and that is the 75th anniversary of the All American Girls Professional Baseball League poster that I got signed. Uh, this poster was featured in another episode, and I will link that right up here in the corner for you guys to check out that video along with the video when I picked it up. So I'm not going to talk much about this poster as I am the other ones. So this is probably going to be a two-part video in the fact that I'm also going to split this into uncut baseball card sheets, and I'm going to show those off to you in another video as well. So... Uh, we're going to start with probably the biggest poster that I have in my collection, and this thing is massive. And that way I can stack on top of that and go from there. And that first poster is a Kevin McHale autographed Boston Celtics. I'm sorry about the glare from the light there. I'll try to stand over that a little bit better. But this is actually autographed right there by Kevin McHale himself. And I'm going to try to zoom out the best that I can to kind of show you the idea how massive this thing is. I mean, this is my dining room table and it takes up just about my entire table. And to give you a comparison, that is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So, I picked this up uh, off of eBay oh, a couple years ago, and it does have a certificate of authenticity. I have it taped to the back of the poster here. I don't, uh, or the poster holder, I should say. I'm not going to pull it out, but it is a limited uh, print of a thousand, and the artist actually signed it. Forty-five out of a thousand, and like I said, Mikhail signed it as well. But uh, I picked this up uh, for under 20 bucks, shipped to my door, and I wasn't really paying too close attention on how big it was until I actually opened it up. I'm like, my God, this thing is massive. So that is the first thing that I want to show you. It is the largest poster in my collection, so I thought I'd give you a nice gander at that, and I'm probably going to just stack stuff on top of that. So, All right, the next item is a signed autographed lithograph and again numbered 706 to 3500 also signed by the artist of Lou Brock the great Lou Brock all-time cardinal and it's signed in huge blue sharpie right there in the corner and I picked this up also a little biography on Brock there in the corner but I picked this up also, relatively cheap, um, 15 bucks or so. Um, and I decided to put it in this nice frame. It was rolled up in a tube, and I damaged it a little bit by storing it in the tube. You can see in the corner there. But that's from me pulling it in and out so many times. But now I finally got something to put it in, and now I am keeping it in this oversized poster holder. So very cool addition also very cool st louis cardinals memorabilia so that is the second item i wanted to share with you now this next item is a new york yankees 1996 world series signed oversized photo and this is a this is not your standard photo obviously it's in a large holder but this is a leaf authentic autograph that came out of the leaf i want to call it treasury or leaf authentics where you would buy something at random and pull this out 
Uh, I picked this up for roughly, oh, I want to say 40 bucks shipped to my door, which I thought was a pretty fair autograph or pretty fair price. Uh, some of the autographs on here, Brian Bowringer, Tim Raines. Again, I apologize about the glare there. Let me kind of stand in front of that the best I can. Um, Romero Mendoza, Jose Contreras, Joe Girardi, John Wetland, Dwight Gooden, I'm not sure who that is, Charlie Hayes, Mariano Duncan, Jimmy Key, Jeff Nelson, and Rich Saviar, I believe. So I, David Weathers, that's who that is, David Weathers. So it was signed by all those 1996 uh, World Series Yankees. Obviously, there's some pretty big names missing off this poster, you know, such as uh, Derek Jeter, for example, Jorge Posada, Bernie Williams. But aside from that point of not having the big guys on the team, does have Tim Raines, who is a uh, Hall of Famer, and um, a very neat piece to have in the collection, in my opinion. So I picked that up as well. All right, this next item is kind of unique. I've never seen anything else like it. And it's not really protected the best I want it to be because I have it on, somebody affixed it to a poster board or something to get it signed, I assume. But it is PSA authenticated. I have the letter with it that corresponds with it. But this is the 2009 World Baseball Classic Team Cuba photo collage. And it is signed by various Cuban players, but the most notable, it is signed up here in the corner by Aroldis Chapman. So that is indeed Aroldis Chapman's autograph on this oversized custom photo. I picked this up at random on eBay one evening. I kind of spent a few dollars on it, but uh, We'll call this one an impulse buy. It would be the best way I could describe this one. So, very cool item again to have in the collection. Do one. All right, this next item, and trying not to show off the glare too much, is a All-American Girls Baseball League poster signed at Rockford. I got this in person, and it's signed by one, two, three, and four members of the AAGPBL. Uh, I debated on bringing this with me to the 75th reunion, but because of its size, I just did not want to lug this around, <laughs> really, to be honest with you. I had uh, my books and the other items I wanted to get signed, and I just didn't want, didn't want to ruin this on the transport, you know, for the four-hour drive that I did, you know, driving it there, because I just don't have a good thing to protect it in. You know, I'm going to have to buy something. Uh, right now, I'm just keeping it in one of these oversized poster holders, but I need to find a top loader or, you know, something to fit this. So, my next item, this is one of my favorite items in my collection because I got this all signed in person once. And I'm going to try to zoom out the best that I can. There's my cat's post. Pay no attention to that in my foot. But, um... This is actually a photo of Keel Auditorium in St. Louis, Missouri at a St. Louis Hawks game. Yes, I said St. Louis Hawks. Before the Atlanta Hawks, the St. Louis Hawks were the team, the NBA team in St. Louis before they moved to Atlanta. And... They had a 50th anniversary um, in, in, oh, I want to say 2008, 2009, somewhere in there, maybe 2007. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six St. Louis Hawks to sign this. And the most notable Hawk, Bob Pettit, has signed this. That is Slater Martin, also a Hall of Famer. That is Charlie Scher, who could be a Hall of Famer. That is Al Ferrari. This is Harry the Horse Gallatin, who's a Hall of Famer. And this is Buddy Blattner, who uniquely um, is the announcer 
for the St. Louis Hawks, but he was a former St. Louis Cardinal as well. He played for the Cardinals back in the 40s. But at this point in his life, he was the announcer of the Hawks. So I got this poster signed with my father. Uh, we attended an event where these guys were at, and we got it signed by everybody that was in attendance. So another cool item to have in the collection. All right, this next item is a poster with all of the St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Famers. Well, not all of them, but some of the St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Famers. And it is indeed signed by Stan the Man Usual. And I was unfortunately not able to get Red to sign this before he passed away. Uh, Enos Slaughter obviously has passed away as well. So that only lives Bob Gibson and Lou Brock as being able to sign this item. But I picked this up at a card show for a reasonable price uh, with Stan's autograph on it. And that is a very nice Stan autograph. So that you know it's it's you know it's a very nice crisp one it's not shaky or anything like some of them were towards the end of his uh, years but uh, I also have this in my collection and it's a very cool item that I always will cherish being a Cardinal fan alright this is the final piece I'm gonna show you and this is a Legends of the SEC or the Southeastern Conference football um, lithograph I guess you would call it and it is also numbered 669 out of 800 and it is signed by everybody that is depicted and these are some of the greats of the SEC conference as of 2000 um, the most notable one is Dwight Stevenson Hall of Famer but there are others on here. I'll just name them off real quick. Lou Michaels, Steve DeLong, Dwight Stevenson, Herb Rich, Stacy Danley, Harold Green. That is Ronnie Caveness, Robert Kayot, Kevin Butler, Roy Winston, Kent Hall, and John Reeves and I picked this up at a charity auction actually and I spent twenty dollars on this item it was already framed in this frame and I did the math with all of these autographs I put a minimum bid of twenty dollars on it and I actually won it so these aren't huge names by any you know standard you know, with Dwight Stevenson being the only Hall of Famer that's depicted on there. Uh, that's NFL Hall of Famer. But I thought this was a cool piece nonetheless for only $20. So, in closing, I kind of have the larger frames here covered up. But this is, in essence, my oversized poster collection. Put the Cuba one back out there. Uh, I'm going to share with you in the next video some oversized card sheets uh, not as impressive as this oversized collection of uh, posters but nonetheless I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, tell me what you think about some of the items that I presented I really enjoy sharing with you some of my collection of these unique one-of-a-kind items I mean these items you don't see every day and that's why I collect oddball stuff like this. And I thought that some of the viewers of this channel would really enjoy seeing some of this stuff. So comment below if you enjoyed. Tell me what your favorite one was that I showcased. And uh, thanks for watching. And I uh, look forward to your comments below.